Hey, how's it going, connectors? Welcome to another fresh episode of Staying Connected, where we seek stories that connect us with one another. There's just too much emphasis on differences that we forget that we're just one big community. We seek to learn about life lessons, experiences, setbacks, and vulnerabilities of one another. We're here to share more through open and honest conversations. How's it going, guys? I'm Kenny. And I'm Scott. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into it for today's topic, frugality, or mm -hmm. as I like to put it, um, being very selective with your money. Um, there are a million examples, and I'm probably, probably the cheapest person that you know. Um, but uh, you, do you have any examples of being uh, cheap or being extremely selective with your money? Mm. Um, I'm pretty selective when it comes to clothing and food. Um, starting off with clothing, you know, I don't need all of your brand name type of clothing wear, um, fashion that I see a lot of people walking around with, like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, um, all of those high end names. Um, I even see myself, you know, buying a lot of the basic stuff, even going to these thrift stores, buying all of my clothes. Um, you see a lot of people here, um, office workers, I mean, they wear a lot of Aloha shirts. Um, one example is like, yeah, I go to, let's say the nearest Goodwill and I walk through the Aloha shirt aisle and, you know, I just pick out whichever one that. Really? I that's from Goodwill? To. I can't yes. tell. I thought those were like rain yeah. or like I mean, high end. I do have some rain spooner shirts, but um, we're gonna get into that actually. So speaking of yeah, rain spooner, um, you know, a lot of the shirts that I buy from rain spooner are actually like either on sale, like really on sale, like up to like seventy percent off. So bargaining is one thing that I really like doing. Um, but also yeah, going to these thrift stores and finding. Um, these Aloha shirts for like less half the price or even triple um, the amount of that. So basically, yeah, I, I try to find deals and also I am very yeah selective where um, selective with my money when it comes to clothing. How often do you buy new clothes? I don't see that's a thing too. Um, I try not to get into the habit of buying too much clothes i yeah i see i don't um buy clothes as often so like if you look into my closet um i basically have like couple couple shirts hanging and then the rest are just like regular shirts like this um that i use multiple times of the week um i mean i do laundry quite often so um, I try not to spend my money on, yeah, a lot of clothes. And yeah, how about you? Same with you. I'm the same with you. You know those uh, those Costco black tees. Like, oh yeah. Thank you for a lot of these being connected episodes. That's all mm -hmm. I wear. They're yeah. So comfortable. They're like ten dollars, and I, I just, I just reuse them. I have like five of those shirts, and that's all I wear. So it's yeah. like, kind of like uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Okay. Yeah, it's it's, it's it's kind of comfortable. It feels nice, you know. And mm -hmm. I think it's different in uh, compared to high school because uh, compared as we are now in mm -hmm. high school, you know, there's always like that expectation to fit in. Oh, of course, yeah. And uh, feel free to share a story, but for me, um, mm -hmm. you know, when I was going through high school, like a lot of kids, especially um, on different cliques, they wear different things. So all the athletes would wear Nike. You know, yeah. all the um, all the cool kids would wear because this this is like 10, 15 years ago, back in the day. Um, this all the cool kids were like Echo, Sean. Oh, Gunn. that was the that was the brand. Yeah, so th these bands were were in, were in the cheapest. You know, they're today's like Fear of God. They're today's Supreme. You know, mm -hmm. off white, basically. And you know, like mm -hmm. I didn't have money to buy Echo and Sean John, so it was really really hard to like. Uh, okay. It's that internal um, conflict of am I, am I good enough to like be with these kids? And looking back now, yes, it's, it's just freaking clothes. You know, they're just yeah. It, it didn't matter what I wore. You know, looking back now, but back then it's like that pressure, just trying to fit in, trying to be like other people. 
know, and that's a thing hey, too. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you wear Sean John or an Echo? Me too. Oh, we can be friends. But you know, instead, I just had these plain gray and black T-shirts. That's all I had because all my mom could afford. But um, it's simple. Uh, and that's the thing. You know, we we oftentimes get too caught up with the next trend and being a part of that trend where we we're just pressured into buying the newest thing because we want to fit in and you know it's yeah. i see i see it more when i was younger you know mm -hmm. it, it, it's easier to see it now when you're an adult but then as, yeah. as you're growing up it's just so tough because all you yeah. want to do is make friends with people you know and you get bullied like i i still remember getting bullied, bullied or like wearing these like um, plaid, plaid shorts and Oh man! I don't know why. Like, people just make fun of it, and I thought it was like these. It was like mm -hmm. blue and uh, yellow stripes, you know. It looked kind of silly yeah. now. And, um, <laughs> envisioning yeah. it and reminiscing about it, mm -hmm. but at the time I thought it was really cool. You know, and no one had these shorts. Yeah. And everyone was making fun of me, and then like you know what happened? I like I put them in a closet and I never wore them again. Just go. Oh, you know, it just affected. You. Yeah, because I just wanted to fit in. I just. They want to get bullied. I don't want to. They want to get made fun of. Mm -hmm. but in a sense, it's like I understand what uh, these kids or even adults what they're trying to do is they're trying to feel good, uh, look good, you know, to other mm -hmm. people. Yeah. No one really cares about what you wear, honestly. Yeah, and I think it also depends on yeah how we grew up. Like you know, a lot of families here, or I mean, personally, is for me as well. Like I, my family didn't have a lot of money so and I didn't have a job at the time so I was basically you know just forced to use whatever I had in front of me and be and great yeah hand-me-downs because yeah I mean I'm a middle child and you know once my older brother outgrew his clothes then I would just take it over and that's how it was for my younger brother too we just shared clothes throughout our time growing up in the same household. Um, even now sometimes, yeah. So, yeah, we're pretty, we find ourselves being selective with our money towards clothes, yeah, even to this day. Um, so let's say um, in the future, when you start do making a lot of money, will you splurge on them, on like clothes? Or like, what's, a, what's one item of clothing that you, you'll splurge on if you had to? I'd probably splurge on like it's kind of funny, but you know those like high knee shorts, like active active wear type of stuff. Lululemon. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I know for sure that you know I I will use it and it won't just sit in my closet the whole time. And yeah, I can use it anytime, anywhere. Um, but yeah, it's I never really grew up with having a lot of brand name items. Um, yeah, like I, I don't even remember owning anything Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Whereas, you know, a lot of people, yeah, they had like these Louis Vuitton belts and I'm like, oh. Well, you need white penny, I got you. Hand <laughs> <laughs> <Get> me down. Literally, <laughs> <laughs> hand me down. Yeah. Um, yeah, for myself, probably mm -hmm. splurging uh, for yeah. attire. Um, would probably be some good shoes, like some good running, walking shoes or everyday shoes. Mm -hmm. We used to buy these uh, twenty, thirty dollar pair of shoes, and like the bottom would be so thin, there's no like our support. Oh. Just walking just hurts, you know, and that affects your physical uh, well-being. So yeah, I would want to buy like maybe some two, three hundred dollar pair of shoes if I had the money. So yes, for the support and just. I feel like if you take care of your uh, physical and you know, the mental will be there too. You know, like the, the old saying of uh, uh, look look good, feel good. Look good, feel good, Home yeah. Good, perform well. But, yeah. Uh, anything else that you're pretty frugal about? Um, you know, every now and then it's like food when it comes to food, um, eating out type of thing. You know, I'm not the type that would go to like your your steakhouse and all that. I usually try to cook the steak at home and save money from that. Um, you know, as I mentioned before, I mean, if you tuned in, I do have my own food blog 
and all that. So, you know, I'm like, that's kind of like my, my job to, to go out and try new foods and also use my personal money for eating those foods. Um, but yeah, for me, Kenny, do you have a budget? Like let's say once a week, you're allowed to go out yeah. once. Yeah. So I set budgets for every week and try to make sure that I don't go over that. Um, and yeah, I, I try to eat healthy as well. And shoot. And what is it? Also try to cook at home too. So, um, cooking has kind of helped me with my food blog because, you know, I don't have to go out too much and spend on a whole lot of meals. Um, so I can save money from there. And yeah, going back to like all of these steakhouses and, um, rooftop restaurants. Yeah. I never really been to all of those things. Um, yeah, it's, it was kind of like, wasn't my interest. I was more so into like, you know, going to your nearest l &L, your nearest like zippies, you know, it's kind of go wrong with zippies. And, um, yeah, just kind of like, you know, home style cooking. I, I prefer that because, you know, growing up as a, you know, what, five person household, um, yeah, we basically just lived off of like, you know, like Spam, Vienna sausage, all of that. And that kind of um, lifestyle, you know, I brought it with me wherever I went. Cause you know, as a college student, you're also on a budget. And once you graduate from college, you know, you have different bills to pay. And from there, you just have to be selective with your money. Um, so what's your budget? Do you, do you mind sharing? Let's say, uh, is it per week or is it per month or? Oh, uh, well, let's say, for example, per week, um, I try not to spend more than like $50 on food. Um, I try to be cheap. I, yeah, try to be cheap. Put it out there. <laughs> um, so I shop at like, you know, farmer's markets. Um, there are some good deals over there. Um, and you also help support local farmers. On top of that, you know, having a, a Costco membership really helps too because you can always stock up. And meal prepping has been pretty key with um, everything and helping me to save money. So $50, it actually goes a long way. Um, and then, you know, I can eat out maybe yeah, six bucks is like a poke bowl. So from oh, there, it's poke bowls at hey, <laughs> six, poke six bucks. <laughs> Ten. You go to a place like Times, Foodland. Right? Yeah. Really? There's six dollars there. You gotta get a third, a quarter, a uh, third of a pound. That's why you gotta ah, third of yeah, a pound. Third of a pound, no two thirds. I I wouldn't know. I wouldn't yeah. Know that. Wow, so, it's very very bucks. rare. Sometimes like. Mm -hmm. Even when I do go out, you know, mm -hmm. like I would like eat, try to, because I have my appetite to be big. I would try to eat at home. And then, like, when I go there, like, just for the yeah. for county's sake, I would just order something small. And yeah. you, you see me do this too. I, I yeah, would, I, I see you. Yeah. Sometimes when you see me order, like, just uh, something tiny, <laughs> something tiny, you know that, like, I'm trying to save a little money. Mm -hmm. But, um, because I, I, I do want to go, I do want to, um, you know, talk okay. to you guys and I want to talk to our friends and uh, just reconnect. Okay. That's the fun part, you know. But hopefully one day I won't have to have the need to like spend money mm -hmm. every time I go out. Because uh, I, used, I used to do that to one of my friends. Is mm -hmm. He would always invite me to eat, but I didn't want to spend his money or my money. So I would just like yeah. eat, just watch him eat. But it's okay. We, we're there for the conversation. and That's more important to me. Morning. yeah i totally agree with that and it's yeah i mean you gotta have a fun experience you can have a fun experience without having to spend your whole paycheck on dinner <laughs> i'm usually exclusive so if you are one of our friends that listen to this you know like <laughs> let them order anything don't say anything yeah, like, yeah, I'm trying to save <laughs> yeah we're, we're all trying to save here and there so well, speaking um, about saving um What's can you maybe you can give us a percentage and I'll go first and like how much mm -hmm. you usually save per paycheck. So for me, mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, I live with my parents, 
And mm -hmm. I do contribute with the rent, the other yeah. bills as much, but um, I make sure I save at least 50% for my paycheck. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Especially if it goes into uh, investments and my savings and such. Um, you know, because as much as I do want to go out and I, would, I do want to try all these restaurants and I do want to have fun with all my friends and, you know, back before pre-pandemic, I want to yeah. I mean, when I go out, you know, try these uh, dessert places. I, I can't, unfortunately. So yeah. even though it is a big case of FOMO or fear of missing out, I see the, I see the bigger picture because I see yeah, it. Sure. Um, I see it as discipline. You know, the the more disciplined you are with your finances, uh, eventually you're you'll be able to splurge. That's the mm -hmm. way I see it. So uh, at least once a month. You know, since I've been saving so much, I've been uh, frugal, I've been very selective. Uh -huh. Treat myself to a very, very you know, nice dinner, like steakhouse, for example. Yeah. I, I usually would never buy like apparel or jewelry or whatever. It's usually food. And it's probably pe with people that, you know, I like to be around. So, um, so well, yeah. if you're, if you're a friend <laughs> listening, Jenny, uh, <laughs> in the mind. Yeah. You've only been saving. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. yeah. One day we'll go to a steakhouse um, and say, ah, so still haven't been. <laughs> Not even like good. Yeah. Really? You name the place. You name the place. I haven't been there yet. You've been, sa you've been saving. You've been saving. <laughs> and saving. <laughs> yeah. So um, for me, I, yeah, I try to do at least 50%, um, closer to, let's say, yeah, 60%. Um, you know, I mean, we have these monthly bills, you know, first of the month is kind of like killer for everybody. Um, you have insurance to pay, you have different bills and all that. Um, and you know what, even like maybe student loans or other type of loans that you got to pay for. So yeah, I try to save up to 60% if I can. Um, and yeah, being very selective with what I spend on throughout that month because we only get paid so much and you know we all hope we get some sort of bonus at the end of the year but you know <laughs> or raise as we talked about before <laughs> oh yeah. yeah so one one of the things that i've um you know the more i talk with my friends about uh, mm -hmm. and saving it seems like some of them they treat it like um like an extreme sport you know they'll actually deprive themselves of um, comfort food though they pride themselves of uh, valuable experiences with their friends and family just by being cheap. I remember uh, a time where uh, we were in a foreign country and I had a couple of friends that just didn't want to spend money. I was like, ah, I'm just trying to save money. And, you know, like, I'll just watch you guys do it, you know. But I'm like, hey, hey man, you, you spent all this money getting here. And when are you ever going to be back here? You know, it's not uh, like we're asking you to spend hundreds of dollars. Uh, you know, we're not asking you to like spend everything right here, right here. And then, you know, yeah. we'll help you if you need, you know, because we're friends. But the more important thing is like, let's make memories. You know, money comes uh, and goes, but it does. Stay, you know, and the relationship and the bond that you build is forever. So, you know, there is a good balance. You've got to have balance when it comes mm -hmm. to you saving because when you save too much you fail to uh you know see yeah. the beauty of life and the beauty of experiences it's important. Important. so exactly you know, and uh, that's why like that's why i do want to treat myself or i want to treat other people yeah you know, after i pay myself first mm -hmm. you know, like the, the theory of paying yourself first is like um, when my paycheck when my paycheck gets uh deposited mm -hmm. i wouldn't usually take that first portion and I treat it as a bill that goes directly into investment mm -hmm. and saving. Yeah. Okay, so that's like that's like my first bill. And then mm -hmm. I pay off my um my other mortgages and my yeah. uh, bills and what's ever what's ever left, I get to have fun. You know? Yeah. So if if I wasn't if I didn't um if I didn't have enough money or like I'm saving for a trip, that leftover money will be um going towards my savings or towards a vacation fund mm -hmm. so I'm, yeah. I'm always like thinking long term like okay I'm, since i'm gonna go on a trip i'm gonna start saving ten dollars here instead of going out and getting six dollar pokeballs yeah you can just save it six i want to i want to have a good time whenever i go traveling 
and be six dollars richer. <laughs> yes, if, I'm, if I'm good now, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm and yeah, forever. I mean, yeah, we talked about traveling together too, and it's like you know, are you spray saving? For I yes, yes. I've been doing it since actually the beginning of the pandemic. So, wow. um, we are saving. Oh well, depends on. <laughs> so we're going. We're we're talking about going to Korea. I mean, that's that's been our mission, um, our goal since how many years back already. And um, yeah, I think I mean I've saved enough for us to you know just enjoy, basically enjoy and splurge <laughs> um, but you know we're splurging for the experience and yeah when it comes to traveling too you got to set budgets um but once you get to the country it's like you know there's so many things you can you want to buy mm -hmm. and that's that's where your preparations come in it's like you gotta financially save up and yeah Try to be selective. Are you, are you selective in what you buy or what you eat when you're on vacation, or is it like a free for all? Oh, that is a different story. That's kind of like a free for all, because you never know when you're gonna go back to that place. Like you mentioned, like you might as well try it out, um, and then whether you like it or not, you you get get, get that experience. So I remember going to Seattle. Have you been to Seattle? I've never been to Seattle yet. Oh, that's definitely on the list. <laughs> yeah. I went to this uh, aquarium mm -hmm. um, in Seattle, and like, it was fifty bucks for like entry. And like, oh. I love I love aquariums. I love animals, but then, yeah, fifty bucks is a lot. Like, yeah, that that I almost shed a tear. Like, <laughs> but you know, it was a fun experience. Like when we got in, yeah, and then you get like take all these pictures, and then you look back and hey, remember when we did that? And mm -hmm. like at the moment, fifty dollars felt like a thousand dollars, especially since I have to pay for two yeah. people. So Would you go back? You know, um, but yeah, it was, super, it was super fun. We had such a good time. We laughed the whole time. Uh, we saw all types of unique animals. Um, got to touch like a turtle. Get to touch a penguin. You know, so that wow. more than covered that um, hundred dollars worth of tickets. So yeah, it's totally the experience. Um, would you go back? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 one and done. There. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, done. but then like 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 um we just discussed it's like when are you gonna be back? To what this pandemic um has taught us is that like don't take anything for granted. Like once the next time mm -hmm. you're gonna be able to travel um mm -hmm. worry free, you know, probably not for a long time. Pretty much. Uh, or for some people, when are they gonna travel, you know, since but there's a lot of fear and there's a lot of uh, anxiety and worries about you know the virus so mm -hmm. uh, now that i look back like i'm grateful we did all that you know yep. we, came, we didn't come here just to like enjoy the minimal basic well, mm -hmm. we came here to have fun we have came here to make memories and that's yeah. exactly why you got to start being really disciplined mm -hmm. um, exactly in the beginning if you want to enjoy your 50 dollar per person ticket to the aquarium mm -hmm. No, no, no more Starbucks for a while. You know, no more Jamba Juice. Yeah, there. those little things, you know, they all add up at the end of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so that's, yeah, The even the smallest items you buy continuously, mm -hmm. yeah, they really add up into something that you should have been saving for, yeah, for that. So, so the um what do you recommend for people you know they're they're starting out right and they mm -hmm. want to start being frugal or they start they not, now they see like the long-term benefits of like saving a little bit you know what would you recommend to them to start out um i mean first step would probably be list down i mean everybody knows how much they get paid um list on your financial priorities first and then see what the remaining um, amount of dollars you have. And then say if you wanted to go on a trip, you're going to use the remaining of that money, put it into, well, a portion of that remaining money into your travel savings, for example. And then you have 
another new remaining amount. So from there, um, you know, forget about eating out for a while. Um, and then, yeah, try to cook at home if you can, if you have access to those resources. Um, meal prepping is one thing when it comes to food that will help you save a lot of money. And when it comes to clothes and all that, yeah, you don't have Try to stick to maybe, yeah, like five to eight shirts and yeah, try not to buy anything. Uh, yeah, you, ha you just need one shirt per day, pretty much. Especially if you're working from home, um, you should, I mean, if you're lucky to work at home, you don't have to. <laughs> Wear the same shirt. They, they Wear the same shirt, yeah. It's, they can't smell you, they cannot. Yeah. <laughs> you can't hug anybody nowadays. So, um, yeah, limit the amount of spending on clothes. Um, and yeah, that's the thing. If you work from home, stay at home. Uh, I like that. Let, let me, I, I love this. You know, let me, let me add to that. Uh, a couple of ways that um, I think, uh, a couple of things that helped me out is I made the list, um, I checked my, credit card transactions to see, okay, let's break yeah. it down. You know, and I'll, I'll have, I'll, I'll have probably have several categories. Like what, what, what was my biggest, um, let's say it's a pie, right? What was the biggest chunk of my spending? Is it food? Okay. Yeah. Uh, is it clothes? Okay. You know, let's rent and bills. That's going to be automatic. You know, you can't do nothing about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. What you could change is the clothes and the other extra things that you don't really need. It's just something mm -hmm. that you want. And you break that down, okay, um, since I'm a habitual vendor, let's cut off, let's, let's, keep, let's keep it uh, real easy. Okay, this, this week, I'll just take out $20 from food and I'll take out $10 from uh, clothes or whatever else. You know? And then like, it's probably, you wanna start simple and you, then you start building that habit. Yeah. That's for a lot of people and for a lot of my friends that I see, it's hard for them to just go cold turkey. So yeah. you need you need some low hanging fruit, you know, to know that okay, I can be pretty successful. And then once you get used to that habit, yeah, you can reward exactly. yourself as well. So. It's just saving a little bit, even if it's five dollars, you're still saving. Mm -hmm. you know? And another thing that has helped me is um, telling my friends that hey, I want to start saving some money, so I need your help. So just creating that environment around you. You know how um, we talked when we had that podcast episode about habits. Yeah. Or having um, the right people in the right environment because if you're with friends that love to spend money what are you going to do <laughs> gonna spend money but you know if you tell your friends like hey my goal is to um, you know save this amount of money uh can you guys help me out you know so that way they're aware of what's going on and if they're good friends they'll tell and they should understand yeah. yeah they should understand not everyone has the luxury of um mm -hmm. you know extra income they can spend or anything yeah. That they'll help you out. Like, hey, you told me that you wanted to uh, save money, so you can't buy this. Okay, mm -hmm. you can't buy that. I'm just trying to help you out. They'll, they keep you accountable, basically. Account, accountability partners. Um, mm -hmm. Another thing would be to ask myself questions. You know, if I'm going to spend money on something, I'll ask myself, do I really need this right now? Is this a must? Every happen? single time. Yeah. Ask Why not? That. I. I <laughs> I always ask myself that question too. Yeah, and, if, if, and, and if it is, you know, um, would buying it change my life? 99% mm -hmm. of yeah. the time, it's probably no, it's a short term, um, yeah. it's a short term thing. So asking yourself those questions, because I think when you ask yourself questions, you're um, able to detach a little mm -hmm. bit. You know, like sometimes when someone does something really annoying, like, um, uh, they, they fidget with their pen or like they, they um, uh, fidget their feet, you know, instead of telling them, hey, that's annoying, you know, create that, create that conflict. You ask them a question like, um, hey, does it, is it annoying when, um, you know, when you talk and someone fidgets their pen? You know, so it's kind of it's kind of like passive aggressive, but then yeah. like, it, you, you ask them a question, they're like, oh, yeah, I guess it is, you know, and then like you get them yeah. to start thinking about that. And they get to be detached instead of like just mindlessly keep on doing it you know, a little bit uh, more automated. So yeah, it's just a 
those those things that help me. You know, just the right people. Um, people setting yeah, up lists. Asking questions and um, just making sure you have a right system. Because yeah, if you still if you at the end of the day and you look at your uh, low chart, you know, and you're still spending more money, something's wrong. You know, what can you fix? You know, what can you take out? Yeah. And then say you know in the long run you do have a lot of money. You still have. I mean, are we going to change our habits? Possibly, but yeah. But for now, it's it's a good start to, you know, set your priorities straight and. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Just have balance. You know, a lot of people they just love spending money. And then they have all this money, and I've seen it. You know, some of my um, uh, people that I'm around, they have so much money, but they're so old now that they can't enjoy. You know, yeah. Like, <laughs> the reward of their hard work is just they can't go traveling, they can't go out to do this because they're too old. So you need to, yes, save, but do enjoy life. You know? mm-hmm. We're only on this earth for so long, so you really gotta enjoy life. Yeah. So you're gonna splurge, splurge it on people you love. You know? mm-hmm. I, I don't mind spending money on people I love. Exactly, preach. Yeah. So, all right. Um, anything else about frugality? For we um, oh no, well, you know, it's it's a new year. Um, so why not start, you know, saving, um, for that next trip or creating a list of your your priorities um, when it comes to finances and yeah, start now. Right on. I agree. Start now and. Kind of like that um, metaphor uh, or like that saying that, you know, I'm not sure you heard it. It's like um, the best time to start was 10 years ago. Um, the second best time is today. Um, no matter where you are, how old you are, um, it's, it's never too late to start saving. It's never too late to start um, altering your behavior and change your bad habits into good ones you know, because like like I mentioned, it's all about discipline. The more discipline you have now, the more freedom you're gonna have later. So think long term. Yep. So, all right, oh, let's go oh. ahead and go into our recommendation of the week. Remember, it could be a tip, a quote, a reflection. Okay, mm-hmm. Kenny, what do you have for us? All right. So because we're on the topic of frugality and saving money. Um, I wanted to kind of share an app that I use to, to help me with my, my savings for each month. Um, it's called Mint. Um, I'm not going to go into the whole app and show you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a finance app that allows you to list down what your monthly bills are. Um, And it keeps track of exactly what goes in, what comes out. And you get these statements saying, oh, we spent a whole lot of money on food, which you shouldn't have. Um, And yeah, it kind of makes you aware of how your spending habits are. And when you get a chance, yeah, the app is called Mint. Um, And it's pretty much on any smartphone um try it out and it's totally free as well and from there yeah you just it gives you alerts every now and then and yeah it definitely helps me throughout my week and you know i like getting those notifications saying oh you spent too much on like Mm -hmm. um eating out (laughs) so when was the last time you slipped up a little bit and you spent uh, more than you should have was there anything recently (laughs) Recently was probably, I gotta say, it's mostly on food. Yeah, like whenever I go out and eat, it's like, um, especially when I dine in at restaurants, which we can here in Hawaii. Um, yeah, it, it was from like one plate to like up to like seven plates. And from there, it was like, oh, sh-. or like, okay, another good example is when I go to, um, Wait, like the 
revolving the let's say dinky sushi. You wanna go eat sushi? You know, you just you just eat, grab the plate, and <laughs> you tend to lose focus on what plate you're grabbing. You see, grab all five black plates. Oh. I think there is some psychology of that to have yeah. like the food just constantly yeah. in front of your face. You know, oh, I, I'm a little hungry. I can eat a little yeah, so, oh, yeah. why not? So, and then yeah, I think losing track kind of just you know made me spend a little more than I should have. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. Going back to the app, it helps you keep track of all of that stuff too. So, um, why when you get a chance, try it out. And let me know how you like it. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to use um, tracking apps, but it, it felt like too much work just putting in everything. Hey, um, putting in the effort is yes, yeah, the, the effort. You know, <laughs> it, it's all up here. Yeah, it's like I have a number in my head, and I, I it's not very high, so that's why it's so easy for me to <laughs> keep track of. It's like, oh, hey, you passed the number. Okay, no more yeah. spending. <laughs> All right, uh, my recommendation, I actually have two. I have one quote and a, a reflection. You know how mm -hmm. we talk about um, not sleeping enough because uh, we were going on our phones and- I'm uh, still working on that talk. Yeah. <laughs> so we failed at uh, calling each other. At, <laughs> I did that like one time. Oh, yeah. Cool. So uh, I've been looking at several apps and they're not, they're not very good. And I'll tell you why. Uh, unless you buy the premium version. There's a premium. Yeah, uh, so, some apps that I have is, um, there's like Flip, uh, Unglued. Um, there's like this Connect one. It's not oh. with, a, with a capital K. So oh, okay. Uh, okay. It's copyright intended. Um, but basically, you have to stay on the, uh, on the app itself. Like, so let's say, for example, you take a 10-minute break, and then you, you press the home button, I still have an iPhone 7, so you still have the home button. Uh, so when you go out, you can still access your other apps. There's just, all it does is just track. It doesn't really block it. Uh -huh. I haven't found uh -huh. an app, especially on the yeah. iOS, iPhone. I know Android has a lot of apps, so if you have an Android, you're in luck. But for the iPhone, it's, it's, none of the apps are really good because it doesn't like truly block you out. Like, I wish if, if any of our uh, listeners or if you can find out a good app, like yeah, put a block on it. And then when you try to go out and click on like Instagram, for example, like a screen <laughs> pops up and it says, oh, you got like 10 minute remaining or something like that. That'll be the best. Wow. Apple, if you're listening. Um. <laughs> yeah, we're on the topic of reality. I'm not paying three ninety nine <laughs> for three app. Sorry. You could set up a function on our own for that. I, I could just like go into settings and then just block it and then but I have to go I have to go unblock it, you know, it's not like a timer. Mm -hmm. They need to have that with the new update. It's like yeah. a timer on that and I can't access Instagram or Twitter, but you know they're not gonna do that, right? No, yeah. It's like a closing hour. <laughs> um, my second one is a quote. Um, I forgot who is by. Mm -hmm. I saw on the internet, and um, it, it was something like this. It said, um, "If happiness doesn't involve you in it, if your plan for happiness doesn't involve you in it, it's incomplete." And it got me thinking. You know, a lot of times we try to uh, help others, right? That's that's awesome. You know, you help others, you do things for other people. Um, and it makes you happy, right? Mm. When you do good things for people and you see people are happy. But when you don't do things that make you happy, you don't focus on yourself, you know, there's always going to be that internal strife and that internal conflict. Yeah. So in order to achieve true happiness, in my opinion, you got to start with yourself in that plan. So that doesn't mean just focus on yourself and your own happiness. Huh. You have to focus on other people and other things. But Including, you gotta have yourself in it. Yeah. You know, so I've been thinking more and more about that because you know this year I'm always trying to I'm trying to connect with people. I'm trying to get more guests for the podcast and trying to do things like that. Mm -hmm. But it's a good reminder to just slow down and uh, think about and reflect about okay, well, you know, what are the things that make me happy? Uh, let's do yeah. a, a check in with myself. How do I feel about first? excuse me, the first couple of weeks of uh, 2021. 
you know, is everything okay? You know, 2020 was a little rough. So it's okay if uh, I slow down a little bit, you know, give myself some self-love first. Self-check, self-love. Yeah. Need it. All right. Um, yeah. Another fun, fun episode. Um, yeah, from gallery. I do definitely have some guests on the way that will talk more about finances and they're more, way more qualified than I am about that. So it's yeah. good to uh, get some okay. people okay. and tips about that. <laughs> Yeah, if you're listening, um, you want to get on the podcast, please shoot us a DM on Instagram. Yeah, like, reach out. Uh, or if you have um, some interesting people that want to come on, uh, mm -hmm. we'd love to connect with you guys and your friends. So Always down for that. Um, here to elevate each other. Um, yeah, whatever industry you're in, if you wanted to share a little bit more about what you guys do and um, yeah, how, you, how you're trying to help others around you. We definitely want to have you on the on this podcast and see how we can help as well. Um, yeah, but in the meantime, continue to stay connected with us. Um, we are on all social media platforms. If you're watching this video right now, um, subscribe to us, like us, comment, and we definitely will reach out to you as soon as we can. Um, we love hearing and seeing all your comments so far. Um, definitely helps us with everything as well. And we're also on Spotify. So listen to us wherever you go, in the car, at the beach, at, in your home, or before you go to sleep, we'll, we'll be there. And <laughs> last but not least, yeah, continue once again to take care and stay safe, stay healthy, stay beautiful people. Stay beautiful. And until next week, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>